High above a Siberian valley, cut deep into the marble heart of the Altai Mountains, one cave rewrote the human story. Denisova Cave appears modest, a dark mouth gazing over wind-shaped ridges, but its cool corridors shelter riddles older than memory. What truths sleep in that stone hush, and how did a fragment no larger than a fingernail force science to redraw the family tree? Logged by Soviet geologists in 1977, Denisova at first seemed another Paleolithic shelter. Ash layers, flint flakes, and butchered animal bones traced routine Ice Age life, nothing revolutionary. Then, in 2008, a researcher brushed dirt from a girl's pinky bone compressed in the strata for 40 millennia. Under the microscope, it looked unremarkable, yet its DNA would explode like dynamite in a library. Geneticists tested for familiar signatures, Homo sapiens or the rugged Neanderthals. Instead, the code revealed a third lineage, equal parts strange and ancient. Humanity's forgotten branch had been hiding in plain sight. They were soon christened the Denisovans, after their stony refuge. It felt like discovering a missing act in a well-known play, recalled Svanta Pabo, whose Leipzig team decoded the genome. The revelation sparked new questions. How many kindred lines still lurk undiscovered? What legacies did these long-lost relatives leave behind? Denisova Cave stretches more than 60 meters into the mountainside, its chambers layered like a parchment diary. Archaeologists recovered ornaments of shocking finesse, Bracelets of chloride ground until they gleam like glass. Pendants from mammoth ivory. Bone needles polished smooth. Someone here mastered precision drilling, spinning a high-speed bit to pierce stone with millimetric accuracy. Did such craft signal a culture as complex as our own, or hint at hidden exchanges among neighboring peoples? Sediments also trapped wolf, hyena, and rhinoceros remains plus charred plant fibers, mapping swings from temperate forest to frozen steppe. By sequencing soil, scientists now reconstruct ancient ecosystems, watching species ebb and flow with glacial pulses. Denisovan genes stretch far beyond Siberia. Unique markers appear in indigenous Australians, Papuans, and many Southeast Asian islanders. Some people carry up to 5% Denisovan DNA. Those traces whisper of epic journeys. Did bold bands trek through Himalayan passes or launch canoes into the Pacific twilight long before Polynesia? One gene variant even equips modern Tibetans to flourish at high altitudes, a gift from ancestors who mastered thin air. Physical fossils remain scarce. Besides the pinky, robust molars with broad crowns echo archaic forebears, yet lie beside refined artifacts. The pairing unsettles neat timelines. Primitive looks, advanced thinking. Some scholars suggest Denisovans blended enlarged visual cortices with formidable strength, an edge in both craft and survival. Myth fills gaps where bones are silent. Altai tales speak of stone giants teaching metalwork before vanishing into peaks. Could dim memories of Denisovans haunt these legends? Mainstream science stays cautious, yet the resonance intrigues. The cave also rekindles debate over cultural exchange. Nearby sites show Neanderthals and early modern humans living within trekking distance. Layers overlap, implying valleys where three intelligent species jostled for hunting grounds, perhaps even swapped stories. A jawbone found in 2012 carried mixed ancestry, Neanderthal mother, Denisovan father. Proof our bloodlines are braided cables, not isolated wires. Every find deepens mystery. How large was the Denisovan population? Did they fade from competition, climate, or absorption? Modern digs deploy ground-penetrating radar and ultrafine radiocarbon dating, chasing whispers in dust trapped under fallen stalagmites. Some sediment lenses, barely a centimeter thick, reveal seasonal visits, as if nomadic bands returned like migrating cranes. Contrast Denisova with Francis Lasco. One shouts through ochre horses, the other murmurs via jeans and lapidary jewelry. Both display creativity blazing in Pleistocene mines. Fringe theorists claim the chlorite bracelet's perfect bore demands technology beyond Stone Age capacity. Others tout unknown seafaring feats to explain far-flung DNA. 
Mainstream archaeologists counter with plausible wooden lathes and population bottlenecks. Debate thrives because evidence is tantalizingly thin. Denisovan influence still matters medically. Researchers probe their DNA for clues to immunity, metabolism, and altitude resilience, lessons potentially valuable against future pandemics. Climate scientists, meanwhile, model Ice Age refugees these hominins might have inhabited, turning prehistory into a tool for forecasting ecological change. Yet large pieces are missing. Landslides may have sealed hidden chambers. Drills whisper into calcite, listening for voids. One misstep could shatter fragile records. Funding ebbs, and the cave sits in a region where nationalism, conservation, and local law intertwine. Imagine the Altai 50 millennia ago. Aurora ripples across spruce canopies. In the cave mouth, firelight flickers over skins and stone beads. A denis of an artisan feeds sand into a sinew-driven drill, polishing a bracelet that will gleam brighter than modern gemstones. Outside, Neanderthal hunters barter reindeer tendons for obsidian blades. Beyond them, slim-built Homo sapiens press northward, carrying ochre and distant myths. Three intelligences converge. Unaware of the eons that will compress their meetings into dusty layers, such scenes straddle evidence and imagination, but Denisova invites them, turning sterile data into living narrative. It reminds us that human identity is mosaic, shards from many quarries fused by chance and shared wonder. Denisovan legacy also pulses in our immune systems. Certain HLA variants, genes that present viral fragments, entered Homo sapiens through Altai interbreeding and still bolster defenses in Pacific Islanders. A prehistoric handshake may echo in modern wards, urging geneticists to mine fossils for clues to tomorrow's outbreaks. Altitude adaptation tells a similar tale. A Denisovan tweak to the EPS1 gene modulates hemoglobin, letting Tibetans thrive where air pressure punishes newcomers. Those alleles journeyed thousands of kilometers, mapping Denisovan footsteps across lands where no fossil has surfaced. What arts or sciences vanished with them? Did they chart the moon? mourn the dead with song, count seasons on etched bone. Perhaps the next sift will yield a flute or a plaque of stars. Until then, we balance evidence against wonder, peering through a keyhole at a vanished world. For now, Denisova Cave stands both monument and question mark. It says discovery is not over, prehistory still hides corridors of surprise. It whispers that the tale of humankind is broader, stranger and more intertwined than textbooks dared suggest. Deep within its echoing heart, past and present clasp hands, urging us to keep digging and keep listening. And while the mystery of the non-human DNA still leaves scientists baffled, it's not the only enigma hidden beneath the earth. Just when we thought we had uncovered every chapter of our past, a newly discovered cave has revealed something even more astonishing. A lost civilization with no trace in any historical record. What else have we missed buried in the shadows of time? Nobody builds something that big, underground, just for fun. You don't do that unless you have to. Right. You don't burrow like a human ant nest. Yeah. Human beings are so weird in so many ways. Yes. The story of the Longyu Cave's discovery begins quite unassumingly with Wu Anai, a local farmer in the small village of Xi'an Beikun in Zhejiang Province, China. This region, picturesque with its lush landscapes and traditional farming, was not known for archaeological treasures. It's really important to understand that archaeology um, is often driven by accidental finds. 